Okay, family, let's talk about it. So here we have our Cornish hens and we have some mushroom risotto. Here we have broccoli florets and we have cheese that has melted in the broccoli florets. How about that? Well, we use Tyson premium Cornish hens. So we use two of those, no antibiotics ever, they say. All right, and crock pot cooking. So two Cornish hens went into the crock pot and what we did is we put a cup and a half of water in after we cleansed our Cornish hens very well inside and out. Put them in that crock pot as I said before. We start seasoning. So what we did is we used some C-O-L-O-N-N-A that's the brand and it's gourmet beer can chicken seasoning. It's rub. So we use that, sprinkle just a little bit of complete Italian seasoning. You know I go wild with this. So anywhere from two to three tablespoons to start out. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a little paprika. Okay, so you want to set your timer at an hour and a half. Go back, check your Cornish hens, see if they're tender enough for you. If not, let them cook longer. But at that point, you can add some seasoning sauce. So just go in there, a little dash of seasoning sauce. Supreme tradition, you can get this all day long at Dollar Tree, 125, okay? So once your Cornish hens are done, you know, then you really got it going on. But before all that, you got two and a half cups of water in a pot. Boil that water. Once that water comes to a boil, you're gonna turn it down. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your P-R-I-A-N-O. Priano, and this is mushroom risotto. They have different flavors, but I love this. This is great. So pour that over into the water, turn it down low. You're gonna keep it uncovered and you're gonna let it cook. Okay, so let it do its thing. Okay, when it's just about done, get your steamer pot if you have one. Put the water in. You know you're going to let it be underneath that basket that's inside the pot. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get you some broccoli florets. So, depending on how many guests, family members you have, you can use, you know, gauge it. I use one bag, broccoli florets, in the steamer. No more than... Um, five to ten minutes you know and then what you're going to do is you're going to take it out which is what I did place it in the bowl and sharp cheddar cheese was added to this so that is what this is all about family that's what it was all about and you know you can get up early in the morning and you can start this I like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button I love cooking with your family always. I really do. But this is really good, okay? This is great. Yes, it is. So with all that being said, I'm going to say I love you. I love you. I love you. And family, always love yourself. Love yourself first. That's the most important thing you can ever do is love yourself first. And with that, I'm just going to say bye for now. Bye.